Hey Team Titleist, Cameron Young here. Um, it's Masters Week, we're just outside the gates in the Titleist Tour Truck, and I'm gonna take you through my bag. I play the Left Dot Pro V1. No, no number superstition or anything like that. Um, I mark it typically with just a black line. So I use my little line tool. I'm like a little bit particular about the Sharpie, honestly. It, uh, there's like a, a certain point where I feel like they're worn down enough that they make a really nice line. I don't do it super long or anything. Um, I kind of just just cover the logo on there. Um, yeah. When I take distance off of shots, um, it's kind of, I think, known as a very low spin golf ball. But for me, it doesn't spin really any less than a Pro V1. The spin actually stays up just a little bit when I go to take 10, 12, 15 yards off of something. Um, so it's just easier to control distance, and I feel like it's just more predictable for me with the irons. You know, kind of being a little lower spin golf ball, my misses don't curve probably as much as they might with something else. Um, and, and I just know what I'm going to get. I know that the bad ones are going to be short, um, kind of the same way that we've gone through the bag and um, set, up, set up all the different clubs in, in a way where I feel like my misses are playable um, and the good ones are just in a really predictable range. Yeah, so we've recently made some changes. I've got a TSR 3, 9 degree um, set on D1. And um, I've, I've been in a 10 for a long time um, because I've, I've typically hit more draws probably than fades. And for me, that little loft kind of made it feel like I could, could cover the ball better and still get it to come out with some height. Um, but we recently kind of started to try to play a few more left to right. And that other setup just spun a little bit too much, um, hitting more shots left to right. So uh, we've just changed the loft to, um, to kind of accommodate for that ball flight. And then we've changed the shaft too. It's a little softer than what I've played for a long time, kind of for the same reason. I think I've mechanically trying to hit those fades. I've changed some things, and I'm not quite as fast as I was um, for the last few years. I lost maybe two or three miles an hour ball speed. Um, and just, I think there's just a little element of kind of softness to this one that that's a little easier for me to do with the feels that I have currently. I'm, I'm pretty much aiming at the middle for most of the normal ones. And then I hit the, I hit the one teed up about that high where I'm like purposefully trying to hit thin, but those are really the only two spots. I'm not, I, I would say, I really am not ever trying to hit it high on the face. It, you'll welcome it sometimes when it's firm. I, I tend to miss like a little bit in the heel and a little low on the face. Um, are kind of my standard miss hits. So just seeing a little bit less spin on those ones um, means I'm just not losing as much distance on those miss hits. What we're trying to do is, is be more sure of the shape, which is where I think you can gain a lot. Just because if you can, if, if you know it's going left to right, you can aim it somewhere that gives you more kind of more of a miss. Um, you know, if, it, if you can aim at the left edge of the fairway and you hit a straight one, it's okay. And you can also cut it 30 yards and it's still probably in the fairway. So it's when you start getting really like where your good ones are just straight. I think it can be really hard, especially at my speed. Um, but yeah, we, we've just been working a lot on trying to really be very sure of the shape that I'm going to hit. And I think that's, that's kind of helping me hit some more fairways. It's the best I've in a long time. So I'm, I'm really excited about, you know, this week here at the Masters and then um, the rest of the season kind of going a little different direction. So next I go to the new TSR 2 wood. I've kind of always struggled a little bit with three woods just because they, they go so far. Um, and kind of for the same reason, that little bigger head lets me hit the, the lower T one to control kind of an end range of distance. But the way that we've kind of worked it is, you know, the driver is set up more to hit a fade and this is a little easier for me to turn right to left. So it, it still goes pretty far. It's, you know, it's probably 20 yards short of driver, um, which is not a huge gap, but I think the shape difference um, is really helpful to me. Just if there's a hole that doesn't suit my eye for the driver, I can go to this one and, and kind of hit it the other way, start it up the right, and know it's most of the time gonna kind of kind of come back for me. Do you remember the first time when JJ brought that out with players that you hit it? Um, yes, he. Um, yeah, we we messed around with some different lengths. Um, at he actually, I don't know if he's allowed to. He let me see it at uh, Arnold Palmer. Um, so I hit like four balls with it there before it was approved and then um yeah i mean it, it obviously it, it kind of looks like a little bit of a throwback in terms of head shape but um yeah i mean it, it fits right in with with the driver really nicely 
and um, you know I liked it right off the bat. We um, we messed around with the length a little bit just to get the the number right off the tee. It kind of went a little too far right at first, um, at full length, and we just backed it off you know a little bit to take off a couple miles an hour ball speed and um, make it fit the bag a little better. Do you know where you think you're using that this week? Um, I will hit it off of possibly one, and then I think probably ten maybe 14 and then the second shot on I think it actually is great for the second shot on eight because it means instead of having to like really try to get one out there kind of up the right side to have a reasonable second shot I can just hit one up the left and know that I have a club that I can hit 280 off the ground and hurt right to left so I'm, I'm excited about it for that one I think they did something fancy with the face, but I don't, I'm not sure exactly what the science of it is. It's the face is just shallow enough that I'm able to really hit it more in the middle off the ground than I thought I'd be able to. Next is T200 3 iron, um, custom cart path mark on the bottom. So what's the cart path from? Players number 16, left cart path, back left hole location. Um, actually hit it, hit it pretty good, hit it through the trees and like kind of just got long left. And uh, I made, made par, unfortunately, but um, yeah, it was a good shot. It, it's been a really good club for me. I, I hit it into par fives a lot. Um, I honestly, I, I don't hit it off the tee a ton. I'm kind of driver two wood the vast majority of the time, but, but it's a nice club to have if I need, you know, just to leave it short of something or kind of hit something low and just get it out there. If I get like a, with no wind, if I get something like 255, because I know that I can kind of hit it a little left to right and it's never gonna get long. Um, I think that's kind of the tricky part. If, if I get into like a, a five wood or something and I hit it high on the face, I get you know kind of just a little bit bigger dispersion distance wise and going into par fives for me, that's kind of the main thing is knowing, kind of like we talked about before, if, if I miss one a little bit, it's never gonna go anywhere crazy. It's just gonna go a little short um, and it's just really easy to control, control distance with it for me. Next is, um, I've actually got two four irons in the bag right now. I'm kind of between a T200 and a T100. Um, I've been in the T100 for a long time, um, but just kind of looking for you know a little bit more height in the four iron and just a little bit bigger gap between the four and the five. So we've kind of testing that one. I think I'll probably end up playing the 200 this week. I, I don't care how good you are. <laughs> a little bit of help is, is nice for sure. This turf, the ball tends to spin a little bit more. So for me, that, which will spin a little bit less in theory than the T100, um, should, should just kind of help keep that gap really even between the five and the three. And um, yeah, I, I played one for a long time and I've, been, I've always been back and forth. But um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll probably go with that one this week. The fun stuff. Yeah, so these were um, my custom irons that, that they, you guys made me. Kind of a, a slight difference to the, the standard MBs. RBC Heritage two years ago when I asked, hey, can you just like do the pre-wear on the front by hand? And then a few months after that, JJ came to me and said, hey, if, if, if your clubs did anything different, what would they do? And I said, I don't know, they'd probably go just a little higher. Um, and then RBC Heritage, the next year, they made me, they showed me a nine iron that had my pre-wear like made into the club, wasn't done by hand. And it was, it was all blank. There was like no logo or anything on it. And I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. I don't, at that point, I didn't really even know what they were doing. And then it was at the Memorial Tournament, he handed me a six iron. That was, um, and the nine iron is very similar to the stock one, but by the time you get to six, they're different. And um, I, the first one I hit, I was like, oh man, that's, that's pretty nice. And um, it's got a little wider sole, a little bit of pre-wear, in there for me and really the goal was just to to launch the um the six and seven iron specifically just a little bit higher um so the the apex height changed probably five or eight feet which doesn't sound like much but when the greens get firm um just having a little bit more versatility in, in those has been great for me and and that little wider sole helps me too because I'm, I'm pretty steep and to just have that that little pre-wear and a little wider sole to kind of help me get through the turf better is, has been a great change from there, that you know, they built the other ones. I think they can work off of those two and kind of go to either side. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just really cool. It's something that I didn't really expect, and um, you know, we're super grateful for the team that's made it happen, and they've been awesome. Two hundred five for the six iron, 
190, 92 with seven, just under 180 with eight. Um, so like 78 or nine, um, nine irons, 163, four. And then the wedges kind of just under 150 with the pitching wedge. So I've got in the, the 52 and the 48, it's actually 53. Um, I've just got a, an F grind. Um, I really pretty much just use those out of the fairway. I'm not chipping really with either of them. Every once in a while, a bunker shot maybe with a 53, but very rarely. Um, and then 58, I've got an M. Still mostly out of the fairway, but I do use it occasionally out of a bunker. Um, every once in a while, a tighter lie uh, in the fairway. There's just times where, where that one's a little bit more forgiving to me than the, um, the 62. But it's a, it's a 60 bent to 62 and then um, he does the grind for me. And um, that closed him great. It's pretty much a chip with that, you know, 95% of the time. That little extra loft as opposed to most guys who play, you know, 60 to 61. It just opens up more options. When, when I hit one how I mean to, I feel like I can do more than a lot of people with, with that one right there. Aaron, uh, one time, I think he wrote 60 in letters and then put a two on there. And I said, oh, that was cool. And I think he's on about his eighth different iteration of like some other way to put 62 on it. He hasn't done two the same yet. Um, so I don't know, I, whenever he gets me a new one in there, I don't know what it's gonna look like, but I know it's gonna be a cool wedge. Putter is T5.5. I've been in a kind of a knuckle neck for a long time and recently have kind of made the switch to a shorter neck just to give me a little bit more feel in the toe because my, my speed seems to improve. I think the strike improves when I can just feel the toe a little bit. And it's been a great change. It's no lines. It's kind of just kind of an all feel deal for me at the moment. All the stuff that they do built in is why I can not have any other alignment aid on there. I mean, this stuff is really square. I feel like um, kind of this design frames the middle of the face for me. So I'm still gonna hit it solid. I still know where the middle is. Um, but yeah, I mean, I. On a lot of my putters, I've had actual lines there, but this really does much the same thing. I think it frames the ball really nicely. It's a nice mix of square lines and then some kind of, you know, prettier looking stuff that's not just a, a box. I'm either going to putt with this or the um, knuckle neck one. Those are the two that I'm going back and forth between. I love them both. Putted great at Valspar. And um, yeah, excited to see how we do with it this week. Well, that, that kind of sums it up there. Uh, I'm going to... I think I'll play the, the front nine here at Augusta. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.